Our worship continues on page 159 in the hymnal as we confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We continue with the prayers of the church. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. In thanksgiving for the promised offspring, Jesus Christ, who by his death has crushed Satan's head forever, that as God promised deliverance from sin and its curse to Adam and Eve, and receive their meager confessions for the sake of his grace, so he would show us the comfort of sins forgiven and lead us in constant hope of his new creation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For courage, that as we believe, so we also would speak of the confidence of Christ's resurrection, that we would be emboldened to confess this Christian faith from a lively conscience, and that, for Christ's sake, grace may extend to more and more people for the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For all who feel the sword of division brought about by the confession of Christ's truth, especially within their own families, that seeing as Christ also was rejected on earth by friends and relatives, they would be assured that their stand is necessary, be guarded from seeking a false or easier peace, and be turned in every earthly disappointment towards God's eternal and undivided church triumphant. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. For our nation with its government, that as no kingdom or house divided can ever stand, God would frustrate the destructive work of Satan, Unite our leaders and our people for the common good, and lead us to place our true hope in his eternal kingdom, which is not of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We pray for all who are graduating from educational institutions, for all who suffer in this earthly tent, especially Donna, that fixing their eyes beyond the transient to things unseen, they would not lose heart, and that God, in his eternal wisdom, would prepare them through this slight momentary affliction for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. When at last we are raised with Christ and brought into his presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. What was lost in paradise has been regained by the conquering wounds of your Son, crucified and raised again. We are restored as your children and made bold to ask for every need. Hear us for his sake in, in his name even Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We bring forth our offerings. stand and sing the offertory on page 159. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call on the name of the Lord. I will take the
Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with us always. Amen. Our service concludes with our closing hymn, number 692, Praise to You and Adoration. You may be seated. Forgive my error, everyone, in uh, not doing the benediction correctly, so I'd like to try that again if that's okay. It's okay, I'm fine. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his shine on us and be gracious unto us. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen. Thank you. Uh, so. Uh, a few thank yous out there for today. Thank you for Liz for videotaping the service. Thank you to Carol for serving on the organ. Thank you, Dick, for your message in service. Uh, we have a few birthdays this week. Happy birthday to Luke Wilson on the 7th and to Pastor Miller on the 11th. Uh, so we'll sing happy birthday to Luke and to Pastor. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you.
and also happy anniversary to Reverend Ted and Dottie Ebertson on the 10th. Uh, Reverend Ebertson will be joining us two weeks from this Sunday, uh, along with Pastor Batchelder will be a guest pastoring uh, next week with Holy Communion. I'd uh, encourage you to look at the announcements and celebrations on the back of our bulletin today in case you need any service uh, or prayer requests or anything else. Um, I think that's all the announcements that I have. Any other announcements for the good of today? Okay. Thank you all for being part of service and God blessings on your week.